mask and headset on. Nursing student Deara Green needs no pen and paper to dive into her lesson. She has a, a history of asthma and eczema. The classroom today inside an emergency room. I'm going to bump it up to four liters. Virtual reality, the latest tool in the very real fight against the virus. We've put hundreds of students in it for over a thousand hours of simulation time. Professor Kristen Brown says plans for the immersive tech were in the works well before. The pandemic sped those plans up. Now every aspect of the school's curriculum uses the hands-on tech. This is a critical time right now because we had to be able to continue to provide real immersive learning experiences for our students. They have to go in and touch patients. They have to go in and continue learning despite the pandemic. Students select actions, read charts, and can even call an expert based on the scenario. And another bonus to this curriculum, even if you choose the wrong one, the course guides you to find the right answer. Hello, my name is De'Ara Green. I'm going to be your nurse today. Is there anything I can help you with? And rolling into class is now easier, too. These telepresence robots help students from around the world, including several currently working on the front line, to join in on discussion afterwards. So that's one of the one of the very strong benefits of, of simulation, you know, and virtual is that you can learn in a safe environment where your you know your patients are protected. Virtual lessons apply to reality for current and future frontline workers. Amy Liu, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs>